life cycle of a flea so you can remember there are th three types of metamorphosis one is simple metamorphosis another one is complete or complex metamorphosis and the last one is a metamorphosis so complete or complex metamorphosis can be seen in the life cycle of, of a flea so complete metamorphosis that is uh, the developmental stages adult larva pupa they are different to one another there is no morphological similarity with the adult with the larva or larva with the pupa and after the mating the female flea will lay eggs they will lay around 300 to 400 eggs in total but at a time around 15 to 20 eggs and within one to two weeks these eggs will hatch to larva and larva requires two molting to reach pupa that is in the first molting they will become larval instead one to larval instead two and then in the second molting they will reach to uh, that is they will mold to larval instead two to larval instead three and they have a uh, mandibular gland and with the secretion of the mandibular gland this will attract the surrounding debris or substrate and it will form a, a protective layer which is known as cocoon so within this cocoon the uh, that is pupa will remain around two to three weeks and afterwards they will emerge uh, after breaking the protective layer or cocoon and to complete this life cycle it will take around 30 to 70 days depending on the temperature and humidity but in hot temperature it may take even after two years to complete the life cycle now the question is what about the life cycle of stick type flea for an example echidnophagagalinicia or tunga penetrans we know that this flea borrow the skin of the host and they will remain there throughout their life so during this stage there will there will be some morphological changes that is uh, extensive morphological degeneration and this sort of growth is called neosomy neosomy means neo means neo and somi means body so this uh, so their size is very smaller and afterwards there will be morphological changes and they will suck uh, enormous amount of the blood and the body will be look like this and this sort of growth is called neosomy and it actually involves major integumental chitin synthesis during the adult stages and the genital opening of the female uh, flea protruded through the through the pore of the skin of the host to facilitate the mating with the free living males and after fertilization after mating the female will lay fertilized eggs and they will drop down to the ground and on the ground the egg will has to larval stage one larval stage larva and it will require uh, two or three molting to reach to the pupa and afterwards pupa will reach to the adult stage so there are different developmental stages in the life cycle of the flea i would like to discuss a little bit about uh, those developmental stages so it is known to you that female after netting the female will lay eggs eggs are very small 0.1 to 0.5 millimeter in diameter and they are ovoid and white in color and this egg will hatch to larva with the help of the uh, hatching spine and these larvae are legless eyeless causes a well-developed head capsule and chewing mandibles they also possess a mandibular seed gland with the help of this mandibular seed gland they will produce silk to produce cocoon i will show the picture in a moment and what about their feeding most of the larvae feed on the organic matter in the nest or wedding materials of their host or the uh, feces of the adult flea that is also known as flea dirt so this is the flea dirt and this picture indicate 
uh, that is the larva feed on the different uh, organic material or the flea dirt and there are uh, 13 body segments with uh, there are 13 body segments in the body of the larva but there is no distinction between the thoracic and abdominal segments and there is no appendages that is there is no legs on their body and in the developmental stages there are three larval instar one is larval instar one two and the three so in the first molding uh, there will be larval instar to larval instar two and in the second molding uh, there will be larval instar two to larval instar three larva will become pupa after two molting and as mentioned earlier larva will causes a mandibular seed land as a result they can secrete silk or adhesive things to attract environmental things like environmental debris environmental materials or substrates to make a protective layer around the pupa so this structure or this protective structure is called cocoon this cocoon um, helps the pupa protects the pupa in different way the first one is pupa they are very much uh, susceptible to the desiccation so the cocoon helps to get rid of uh, the evaporation of moisture or water from the body number one number two they also helps to get rid of or avoid the predators because uh, this cocoon helps to camouflage uh, with the environment and the head tubercle pupa poses a head tubercle with the help of this head tubercle they emerges from this protective layer or cocoon and afterwards uh, this stage of this pupa is called true pupa because uh, true pupa means you can see the appendages for an example the mouth part and the uh, legs can be seen externally 